For more information, check out my blog, theguy.com. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look. I wore this out to a wedding the other day and so many of you guys were requesting it on my Snapchat, so here it is. I forgot to film my skin prep so I started off with my Forsali Rose Gold Elixir and I applied that all over my skin and then I took my favorite foundation of the moment which is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I like to apply this with a flat foundation brush first and then really blend this into my skin with my damp beauty blender. This gives it the most natural look without looking cakey or anything like that. Now I'm just going to conceal and highlight and I know the concealer is very very light. I wanted to go for a super highlighted and chiseled look today so um, it is a lot of makeup <laughs> not gonna lie um, I apply my concealer and then I blend it out with my beauty blender and then I set that in place with my setting powder and then I go to the other eye and work on the other eye this assures that there's no creasing or anything like that it really sets that concealer into place and of course, as always, all product names and details will be in the description box below in the order that I use them. So don't forget to check that out when you get a chance. Now I'm just working on the other eye. I'm really building up that concealer. Um, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and then blending it out with my Beauty Blender and then setting that in place. And I'm going to do the same thing on the centers of my face, like the center of my forehead, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, a cupid's bow, and really highlight that area. It's going to look super crazy and you're going to be like, what have you been doing with your life? Like you look like Skeletor, that does not look good. But I promise you when we get to the end, it all works out. I haven't highlighted and contoured in such a long time so I was really feeling a super contoured look. Now I'm just taking the contour shade from my Marc Jacobs Instamark palette and I'm chiseling out my cheekbones. Um, I'm focusing most of the product on my cheekbone and then just lightly applying some onto my temple, my hairline and my jawline. I don't like to put too much on my hairline because I have a really small forehead and then if I put too much it just looks like my forehead disappears so um, contour to your face shape and I know a lot of you guys have been requesting a contouring tutorial which I will be coming out with very soon I know there's a lot of videos that I promised you guys and I kid you not like I have been working on every single one of them ever since I got back Whenever I'm going for a full contoured look, I like to contour everywhere. I don't like to leave one spot out. I don't normally contour my nose, but like I said, whenever I go for a full on contour, I do everything. I feel like it really pulls everything together and makes it look like the look that I want, I guess. Does that make sense? Anyways, now that the contour is done, I'm going to let my face just sit for a little bit and I'm going to work on my brows and my eyes. I'm just filling in my eyebrows with my Sephora eyebrow pencil. I'm just thickening them up a little bit and straightening them out a little bit. I will have an updated brow routine coming for you guys soon because I have a brow routine that I am officially obsessed with. It's like my go-to, so stay tuned for that. Um, I am going to be using one of the products that I mentioned in my favorites video, so... I talk too much. I'll just, you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> And now I'm just cleaning up under the brow to make it look nice and neat and more natural. And I'm so happy that so many of you guys on my previous like Indian Get Ready With Me said that you liked it when I talked over the videos. I missed talking over the video. I felt like a part of me was missing and it made me so happy to know that you guys like it when I talk over too. It feels like... We're kind of getting ready together. Oh, anyways, I'm missing what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to take this gel eyeliner by Milani. It's this beautiful chocolatey brown color, and I'm going to put this all over my lid with a synthetic brush. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger because your fingers are the best tools. It makes They make blending super, super easy. So um, my fingers are just going to warm up the product and blend it out. And then for the harsh edges in the crease, I'm just going to take my 
clean eyeshadow brush because I don't want to take my finger up there because I don't want the eyeshadow to go up too too far. Now for the crease, I'm going to use one of my favorite eyeshadows in the entire world. This is probably in my top five eyeshadows that I couldn't live without. This is by MAC. It's called Uninterrupted and it's this beautiful camel color and I'm really buffing this into my crease. I really wanted to go for a rounded eye shape this time around. I'm kind of like... I don't know, I still love the cat eye shape, but I've been really feeling round shapes lately. So I'm really rounding out the eye and going a little higher in the inner crease to really make my eyes look super, super round. And just blending that out so there's no harsh lines. And with any makeup look, blending is the most important thing. So just take your time and blend, 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 blend. Now for the outer third and inner third of my top lid, I'm mixing two colors from my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, which are in the same color family. They're like very deep, chocolatey, warm browns. And I'm just adding some dimension by applying them onto the inner and outer third of my eye. This is really going to sandwich the next color that I'm going to apply onto the center of the lid and really add some depth and dimension and make the eye look look super, super pretty. I'm not putting a black on the outer or inner third of the eye because I didn't want it to be insanely smoky. I just wanted a little bit of drama, just a little. Even though it's a smoky eye, and it's going to have drama anyways. Anyways, now I'm going to take this Tom Ford quad and I'm going to take this gold glitter from the quad and I'm going to apply this to the centers of my lids. And I loved the way that this turned out. It looks so, so beautiful. Um, it makes the eye look kind of wet and I really love that wet looking eye look. Does that make sense? <laughs> Nobody does glitter like Tom Ford. So if you're in the market for a really, really, really good glitter that's a little expensive, well, a lot expensive, try Tom Ford. It's totally worth the money. Um, now I'm just going to work on my eyeliner and I have to have my face literally in the mirror whenever I'm doing eyeliner lately. I don't know, my eyes have gotten so bad. So I'm just lining my eyes into a rounded shape. Um, I'm just following my natural shape of the eye and I'm stopping right when I get to the outer edge of my eye. I'm not winging it out at all. I'm keeping the eyeliner a medium thickness. It's not super thick, but it's not super close to the lash line either. Like you can see it, it's pretty prominent. And yeah, I'm just really going to build up that eyeliner until it's nice and smooth. And as you can see, I stop as soon as I get to the outer edge of my eye. If you guys would like a full tutorial on how to do an eyeliner without a wing, without it looking like you just stopped, I can totally do that for you guys. Um, I'm also going to take some of that gel eyeliner and pop that onto my tight line. This is going to make my lashes appear fuller and thicker and darker and longer. And that's what I love in a lash. For my lower waterline, I'm taking this chocolatey brown color and applying that all over. I didn't want anything too dark so that's why I opted for a brown. Now for the first color on my lower lash line I'm taking the color that we applied into our crease and just blending that out and this is uninterrupted by MAC. Then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm going to pick up the two colors that I applied on the inner and outer third of the top lid and blend that out a little more add a little bit of depth and now I'm going to go in with a small angle brush and some black eyeshadow. Line really close to my lash line and then blend that out with my fluffy brush. This is going to smoke it out really beautifully, add some depth and dimension and just make it look super pretty. I really love the way that my eyes turned out. I didn't plan this look, I kind of just winged it and I thought that it was probably one of my favorite looks that I've done on myself. But that's just a personal opinion, like I really like the way that it turned out. Now I'm just going to work on my face again. I was all over the place with this makeup look, as you guys can see. Um, I kind of just winged everything because I was running really late. <laughs> um, I'm just taking my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and just putting this all over my face and warming up my skin with this. This is my favorite bronzer of the moment. I wear it for like everyday use. It's just the best bronzer ever. For my cheeks, I'm gonna take one of my new favorite blushes. This is by Milani and it's called Luminoso. Because I have so much going on in my eyes, I didn't want too, too much going on my face. I really wanted just a really bronzed look. Because of my face structure, if I put a heavier blush on, it just does not look right on me. So I went for a more neutral blush. Now I'm just going to highlight my nose and my cheekbones and I'm just using my Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlighter, which was discontinued they came out with a new one this year it doesn't look exactly like this one but it's very similar um, dupes are uh, Kiko eyeshadow number 208 uh, Mac whisper of guilt and the new makeup for 
ever duo bronzers number two now i'm gonna work on my lips i'm gonna take my favorite lip combo of the moment these are like my go-to products and since i didn't plan what i was wearing i was just like okay i'm just gonna go for all my go-to's this is kat von d bow and arrow liquid lipstick and palladio gingerbread lip liner kat von d is coming back with this lipstick i think in july so for those of you guys who are asking that's when it's coming now I'm just going to blend out all of my makeup with a big fluffy brush and my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light and this is my favorite step. So here are my nails done. I just used my black Inglot nail polish. I'm just going to work on my hair now. I blow dried my hair a little earlier. I think, yeah, I blow dried it before I did my makeup. I will have an updated blow dry routine for you guys coming soon. I know you guys have been asking for that too. I haven't forgotten. I'm getting everything out to you guys as soon as I can, I promise. That is my goal, like that's my current life goal right now. Anyways, I'm just teasing my hair a little bit. I'm not adding hairspray or anything like that. I'm just teasing it without hairspray. Um, on the crown area, I just wanted a little bit of lift because my hair is like one length now. I need a haircut so badly, but my hairdresser's in LA. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of lift because it gets weighed down so much. Now I'm just going to smooth it out. I actually decided to go on a side part a little later on, which you will see in just a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to pop on my earrings. I always have such a hard time getting my earring into my left ear hole. It's like the worst. It's like... I have to pierce it through. Uh, my earrings were a gift from my cousin. She actually had them custom made for me and I absolutely love them. They're so beautiful. I got so many compliments on them when I wore them out. I'm so thankful to her that she got these for me. Um, I'm gonna do my chicka chicka ya yeah, cause you guys love that. <laughs> and here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful and you got inspired for a look that maybe you wanna try and recreate. Please give this video a great big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see some more videos from me. And you're going to see my husband and I in a quick couple outfit of the day. And he always has to flex. That's like his go-to thing for whenever he's on camera. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!